for Miga. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that office. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. Choi is 29, Formiga is 35. He is one inch taller. He will have a six inch reach advantage. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Natal, Brazil, Juicy Formiga. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea. All right, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots... Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go take that finish down. Oh, he might be out. Formiga gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. 
big. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! 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 Oh, straight right. Back and forth we go. Just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the Brazilian Juicier Formiga. It's okay, keep going, keep going. Under two minutes in the first round. Good punch land. jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. Final second to round one. All right, good job. What a round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, Nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. to go in round two. <laughs> Trying to find a home for that right hand. Hands higher, hands higher. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Formiga gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Tags him with the left hand. That one appeared to stun him. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. 
And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to make it. Oh, huge right hand. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Oh, oh finish the strike. What a fight so far. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just blowing like crazy in that previous one. They both came with an idea that they were collecting 50000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain that they're both going to receive that check. Checks the leg kick. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch lands. Oh, big knee! Straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh! Oh, oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Swing and a miss by Shore. Just missed with the left there. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Unable to connect with the right hand. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, nice punch there by Shore. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Just misses there with the left. Oh, oh he might be out. Who's oh. Back to the feet. Nice defense there. Huge block. Some really significant. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's done. He's done. Oh, straight right. Oh! He's out. Oh! Woo! Woo! Yeah, man. Crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really, just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 49 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chai. Oh, well, there he is.
is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check is going to be 